with the news report on the TV, everybody in the building can see it, so the staff immediately kick him out, and then they are saying that they will call the cops on Loki, so Loki kills the staff, and then runs outside to grab his Iron Man suit and leave. He knows that he can't get a hotel to stay for the night because he's wanted everywhere, so he decides he's just gonna have to stay in the middle of nowhere. But then, he got an idea. He figures that Iron Man and War Machine are still at Avengers Tower, so he decides to head back to there to kill them. Loki blasts the door with a repulsor ray and immediately flies into the building. Iron Man and War Machine both wake up. War Machine puts on a suit. Iron Man puts on one of his old suits. And next, there's a very long battle. All three of them are shooting energy blasts everywhere and they end up destroying the building. But in the end, Loki decides to use the arc reactor blast and shoots a big one through Iron Man's suit as his old suit was not durable enough to take a blast from his new suit. War Machine is now furious as he knows that Loki probably killed Iron Man there. So Loki and War Machine fight for a little bit longer, but in the end, Loki gets the victory and kills War Machine too. For the rest of the day, Loki scatters around the planet knowing that he's not welcome anywhere, wondering what he should do. He's a bit delirious the next morning as he didn't get any sleep the night before, but Loki sees on the news it has been reported that Iron Man and War Machine were found dead in Avengers Tower and the biggest suspect was him. Loki knew that he could outrun the humans forever as they were just not powerful enough, and Loki decides that he's going to kill them all and take over Earth.